Have you ever been afraid of something before? Maybe it's something tangible like snakes or creepy crawly insects. Or maybe it's something experiential like a thunderstorm or an airplane ride. Or maybe you've been afraid of the dark. If you can acknowledge that there's been a time when you have been afraid of something, click the like button. Hi, I'm Reverend Kyle Dorr from St. John's Church in Grimsby, welcoming you back to Don't Give Up, our Lenten Daily Devotional. And we've all had fears in our lives, and a lot of this stems from a fear of the unknown. Maybe if it's something tangible like snakes may feel a little bit creeped out because they seem so slimy and slithery, we've probably never really picked one up to see how slimy and slithery and likely, at least in our part of Canada, how unharmful they are. Or maybe something more experiential like facing a loud thunderstorm or flying in an airplane. Until we go through those experiences, we know that we can face those uncertainties. For myself, uh, I remember a time after uh, we moved into our first apartment and for uh, the longest time, uh, I was really afraid to go anywhere on my own uh, for a fear of getting lost, getting turned around and not knowing uh, where I would be. And so I decided to just stay put, hold tight and not get lost and not go anywhere on my own. Well, that's a very isolating experience to not feel like you can go out of your house. And uh, it led to a whole series of uh, other problems for me. Um, but uh, as I learned to navigate the neighborhood and remembered some of those uh, orientation skills that I had learned uh, over many years, I realized, you know what, there's really nothing to be afraid of. And there's a whole world and neighborhood around me to explore. I'm reminded of our scripture today from Mark chapter 4, verse 40. Uh, Jesus has been uh, in a boat with his disciples and a huge storm comes uh, blowing across the sea. And Jesus' disciples are afraid for their lives. And Jesus, he's just sleeping in the back of the boat like nothing's going on. And out of fear, they wake him up and say, Jesus, wake up. We're all going to die. And so Jesus, of course, stands up and uh, tells the wind to stop, tells the waves to stop, and the sea and the wind both obey his words, and the disciples are amazed. Mark chapter 4 verse 40 uh, is a quote of Jesus, and Jesus says to his disciples, why are you so afraid? Don't you have any faith at all? We are confronted daily with fears and uh, it seems that each day how uh, we are uh, the victims of fear mongering and all of the news that we hear is made to make us feel on edge and afraid whether that is its intent or not that is often how we interpret it we also interpret this when we uh, look at our future maybe it's a financial future maybe it's a life direction uh, decision we are so uh, confronted with fear and afflicted by fear that it holds us down but jesus reminds his disciples and reminds us in this same moment that we have faith and faith overcomes fear and we need to be faith mongerers and not fear mongerers jesus was a faith mongerer and is his disciples that's the path that we are called to walk each day. Here's your encouragement for today. Think about something that lays ahead in your future, or maybe in the future of your community, and pray about that thing with God. Don't just stew on it. Don't just set it aside as something that will never be resolved or is only going to have a negative outcome. But pray about the thing you are afraid about and see what God does. Please pray with me. Dear God, we thank you for Jesus and his powerful way of ministering uh, to uh, us and to his disciples. We thank you for the way that he was able to stand up 
uh, so strongly and so full of faith. Lord, help us to be uh, divinely inspired by his uh, example of faith. Help us to be faith mongers and not fear mongers. Help us to be open and entrusting our fears to you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm so glad that we could gather in this way. You are welcome to join us uh, for worship on Sunday as we look at Mark chapter 5. And on Monday, Reverend Maria will return with uh, another installment of our Lent daily devotion. Until then, remember, go in peace and don't give up.